let's see this function f of x equal to x comma y x prime y plus x y prime so what is that function you know that it is exclusive or now i want to find out whether this exclusive or or is functionally complete or not if any function has to be functionally complete it should be able to derive first thing is complement right and complement and then and or or so how can we derive complement if i have two variables the complement should have only one variable so only one option only option i have is you better uh, make every two variables same so that you get only function in one variable if you are lucky that function turns out to be the complement if you are not lucky then you have to use some other method see this now if i put f of x comma x here then what do i get x complement into x plus x into x complement then it is nothing but 0 plus 0 which is 0 oh so we didn't get any complement here now let's try with y f of y comma y then how then again i put y complement into y plus y into y complement again i get 0 plus 0 which is 0 right so we are out of luck here we are not getting anything right so we are not able to get any uh, complement here even if you substitute x comma x and y comma y therefore the other method is maybe by observing this you will understand that there is a complement inside the function but we are not able to extract it out the reason is we are trying to substitute the variables in place of variables maybe by putting some constant in terms of variables let's try it out which means either in place of x or y if you put 1 then let's see what happens it is clear that in place of y if i put 1 maybe this one will come out x complement and what happens to the other one if in place of y i put 1 it is this entire thing is going to vanish therefore we could extract this complement out of the function so there is a chance that i mean there is a complement inside it but we are not able to extract it directly therefore i am using indirect method which is nothing but uh, to the function i am introducing a constant to that so if i write like this f of x comma 1 right then what is the meaning of it in place of y i am going to put 1 in this in place of y i am going to put 1 x complement 1 plus x into 0 which is nothing but x complement so directly i am not able to get the complement but then with provided with a function with a 1 i am able to get the complement right so f comma 1 is giving me the complement directly i am not getting it so remember it we shall we shall again discuss about it next thing is okay let's discuss it now only so whenever we are not able to get the uh, you know complement or and uh, both of them directly without using any constant then it is called uh, partially functionally complete which means functions are of three types here one is functionally complete functionally complete means we are able to derive everything what uh, dot and dot r and not and then partially functionally complete partially functionally complete means it is not uh, complete it is it is you know partial in the sense you know without with just using the function we cannot derive everything we cannot derive a functionally complete operations but then by using a constant with it we can derive it example is it is not an example we shall see it later and next uh, not functionally complete so you can categorize any function into these three classes one is functionally complete when if that function is able to derive a functionally complete set which is nothing but plus dot and then r not so if you are able to derive these three from any function then that is called functionally complete now what is functional partially functionally complete is you will not be able to derive it directly therefore you are going to take a constant either 1 or 0 and with the support of 1 or 0 your function is able to derive this one plus uh, plus or and or complement then it is called partially functionally complete then what is not functionally complete is whatever you do either you, you give 1 or 0 or whatever the function will never be able to generate everything then that is called not functionally complete in fact this example is of you know this is an example of not functionally complete because we shall see now it is not just enough that you get the you know complement you should even get either a plus or and which means you should either get either a or or and operation let's see if it is possible with this now i want to find out whether a or or and is possible 
the process is like this first you failed to find out complement therefore you added one and you found out the complement next thing is we want to find out uh, what you know using this this function if I could turn it into plus or uh, and so how can I do it is in general the procedure says this I mean procedure is like this with experience we, we could do this so uh, in place of any variable try to put the complement of it in the resulting expression if you are lucky that then you are going to get a complement or a you know not complement so let's see this f of x comma x complement comma y i'm just trying it out why because i am capable of now expanding uh, you know getting x complement therefore i'm just seeing in place of x if i substitute x complement do i get either plus or uh, and now what is that i get x y plus x complement y complement right check that again we are out of luck because that is exclusive not it is not AND or OR, it is exclusion OR. Let's try with this X comma Y complement, which means in place of Y, I'm putting Y complement. If we put Y complement, that is going to be X prime Y prime plus X Y. Again, we are out of luck. What? What? We got exclusion OR. Maybe you could think about this. Why don't you substitute both X prime Y prime in the function and see if you get AND or OR? Maybe if you do that, then what is that we are going to get is X into Y prime plus x x prime into y which is nothing but x or right so it is interesting we found out some some other property also so what is that property x prime x exclusive or y is equal to we could say x exclusive nor x exclusive or y okay i'll, I'll just write it later what i mean is I'll, I'll just write it later just let's just experiment it a bit further maybe we are trying to fail to find a you know find x x plus y and by substituting like this is there any other combination we left out what if i put f of x comma x complement if i put x comma x complement then the entire function is going to be a function in single term then what is that either it could be x or x complement see what i mean to say is why don't you try like this f of x comma x complement why don't you try like this you could try like this but the problem is the entire function now will be in terms of only one variable what is the function in one variable either it could be uh, you know x or x complement there is no way you could get a and or or gate therefore either putting it like this or y y complement these are already ruled out so we tried every possibility and now we could declare that there is no way we could get a plus or and right therefore r or and is not possible but only not is possible even for that not also it is not directly giving us we are able we, we should be taking one with it so since we are not able to derive any functionally complete set what is the functionally complete set uh, r and r complement r and complement so these two we are able we are not able to derive any of these two therefore we can declare that this is not functionally complete so exclusive or is not functionally complete okay